the first chapter in the Chronicles of the Zodiac Women Warriors. This extended narration delves into the heart of Alicia's journey, capturing the essence of her connection with the forest and the trials that shape her path. It's a tale of growth, courage, and the eternal bond between the guardians of nature and the realms they protect. In the heart of the Crimson Woods, where ancient oaks whispered secrets and moonlight painted silver paths, a child named Alicia was born. Her parents were humble woodsmen, their cottage nestled among the trees. But their hearth was cold, a reflection of their own troubled hearts. Despite the warmth of her family's cottage, Alicia's early years were shadowed by loss, as her vibrant mother succumbed to a mysterious illness, leaving her father engulfed in grief. Alicia tended to invest her time and efforts only in the people she genuinely liked and in activities that captured her interest, highlighting her selective yet passionate nature. Her story unfolds in a realm filled with diverse characters, where Alicia's unique traits and preferences set her apart. On a crisp, dewy morning, when Alicia, wandering through the crimson woods, stumbled upon an ancient altar hidden beneath the emerald canopy. As her fingers brushed against the stone, a warm light engulfed her, whispering secrets of old and awakening the slumbering magic within her. Guided by a fateful encounter with an ancient altar in the woods, Elysia awakened to the slumbering magic within her, her destiny ignited by the whispered secrets of old. The spirits of the forest led her on a quest for Ignis, a sword of celestial flame, each step resonating with the Earth's ancient rhythms. In that moment, Elysia felt a surge of warmth, an ember of resolve. She vowed to ignite her own path, to banish the darkness that clung to her family. The altar whispered secrets, the constellations, the ram, the warrior. Ares, the sign of courage and leadership, chose her. Elysia trained in secret. She wielded sticks as swords, danced with the wind and whispered to the stars. Her father watched from afar, his eyes a mix of pride and fear. He knew the path she tread, the same path that had consumed her mother. As Alicia grew, so did her determination. She scaled cliffs, faced mythical beasts, and learned the art of the blade. Ignis, the sword she forged from stardust and moonfire, became an extension of her will. Its flames licked her skin, searing her resolve. On her 17th birthday, Elysia's father revealed the truth. The illness that took her mother was no ordinary malady. It was a curse, a pact with a dark entity. To save her, Elysia must confront the very darkness that haunted her lineage. Facing trials that tested her courage and heart, Elysia bonded with the guardians of old, her spirit and power deep. When darkness threatened her home, she stood resolute with Ignis and the creatures of the forest, her fiery flame sword a beacon in the night. The crimson woods trembled as Elysia stepped forth. Ignis blazed, its light pushing back the shadows. The dark entity awaited, a twisted reflection of her mother. Its tendrils reached for Elysia, promising power in exchange for her soul. Elysia hesitated. The curse offered her mother's life, but at what cost? She remembered her mother's eyes, their warmth, their love. She couldn't forsake her soul for mere existence. When darkness threatened to engulf the crimson woods, Elysia stood as its last beacon of hope. Ignis in hand, she faced the encroaching shadows with a fierce determination, her fiery mane a symbol of resilience. The battle was fierce, the woods echoing with the clash of steel and the roar of ancient magic. With a cry that echoed through time, Elysia plunged Ignis into the dark entity's heart. It shrieked, writhed, 
and discipline. The mother's spirit emerged, a wisp of light. She smiled, her eyes merry and lost. You are the friend of the mother whisper. Ares chose you. Embrace your father, but remember true courage lies in sacrifice. After the battle, Elysia and her allies healed the land's scars, weaving magic into the soil to restore the forest's beauty. She delved into the mysteries of magic, learning the balance between light and shadow, and her role in the realm's harmony. With the forest reborn, Elysia led a celebration of life and renewal. The creatures of the wood, from the tiniest sprite to the mightiest stag, danced under the starlit sky, their joy a song of hope and new beginnings. As twilight fell, Elysia stood at the forest's edge, her gaze lost in the tapestry of stars. She pondered the path that lay ahead, her spirit serene, ready to embrace whatever adventures awaited her beyond the woods. And so, Elysia returned to the cottage, her mother's spirit guiding her. The hearth blazed in anew, and her father wept, for he knew his daughter had become the embodiment of air.